Do you see me? I think you're in. And we got it. All right. Can you, it's the, it's the sunglasses, man. I put on the sunglasses and all of a sudden it works. I don't know what the fuck that was about. It's my good luck charm. Cool, cool, I just cool, had a cool. feeling like, let's, let's get in that really quickly. I'll make a joke. But like, I had a feeling like it's not working. I need to change my thought process. I know this is kind of woo woo and out there. You don't have to agree with me on this. But I started thinking, I'm going to get this shit working no matter what. I get that. I don't. What is going on? You still there? Hold on. Yeah, can you see me? Oh. Did you catch that? No, you, you, Hello? it's good. You just go, it's going in and out, though. It's going in and out. <laughs> All right. Uh, can you see me? Give it a second to kind of catch up. Hopefully, it'll stable up. I can hear you pretty good. All right. Oh, let me, let me. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. All right, so what I was saying, let me just start off on that, and we'll roll into that. So tell people a little bit about you and what you do, you know, what your, what your thing is. Right. So, um, so basically, I'm a, I'm a dating and life coach, and so what I do is I help men and women try to, you know, find what they want in their dating lives, you know, it be dating, relationships, sex, whatever, you know, they're trying to get done. So that's, that's basically what I do. You know what I'm saying? So what qualifies you to do that, in your own words? Say that again? What qualifies you to teach that kind of thing or do that in your own, in your own words? What experiences do you share with people? Right. Well, basically, you know, I've been doing this for, damn, like almost a decade now. So there's a lot of personal experience, a lot of research, um, you know, a lot of just, you know, my journey of helping other people even before I was doing this professionally that showed me that I could do it. So before I was actually getting paid to do this, I was doing it for free, helping out friends, helping out, you know, people like that to get what they want out of their dating life. So then I was like, hey, let me actually make this into a business and then keep that going. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So guys would come to you and be like, hey, bro, you're pretty good at talking to girls. Like, fucking help me out here. That kind of thing. What happened to yeah, you a lot, much. right? Pretty much. I, I, I totally I get younger, that. I was the guy, I was the guy of my group of friends who, you know, like you go to parties with your friends or whatever. I was the dude that would yeah. talk to the girls while my friends would stand on a wall. You feel what I'm saying? That type of shit. So, you know. <laughs> Where do you think that that confidence came from? Why did you have that? You just didn't give a fuck? Mm -hmm. You were always like that? Or you were different? No. Nah, well, when I was younger, I was, you know, a little scared to get rejected, nervous to talk to girls. And then I had yeah. other people that was older than me that taught me some stuff and then showed me some stuff. And then that made me see, okay, I can actually, like, just go out there and do it. So once I started doing it myself, then I got the hang of it. Then I started to be more confident, stuff like that. So it was kind of like I learned from older cats in my neighborhood that taught me shit. And then that's kind of like how I, you know, taught my friends right. and all the other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When we grow up, we all try to learn from our dads at first. Everyone does. If, if you're, you know, a lot of us, so, right, some guys right. don't have dads, but the guys that do learn from their dads. And then you realize your dad can't teach you everything you need to know. That's what happened to me. And I'm like, well, right. I didn't learn enough. And then you come out mm -hmm. of the world. And my, this is my experience unprepared, uh, really fucking unconfident, no right. experience. There's something called experiential confidence. I don't know if that's a word. I just made that up. But like <laughs> after I went through so many things, I started to care a lot less about what happened. Like, I don't care. If a girl threw a drink at me, I'm like, that was fun. It, it changed in me. But in the beginning, <laughs> it's like you can't even right. talk to the girl at the school dance. This is a weird old frame I can't even relate to anymore. But I used to be that right, thing. Right. scared. Yeah, I get that. Mm hmm Real talk. Uh, so in the beginning, uh, what I was talking about, we were getting cut off. Like we're having problems getting the video going. And I wanted to say this really quickly. A lot of times I think guys go into game or whatever, anything, and they think this isn't going to work. That's not going to work. We were having problems with the video, right? This is a simple example. But I was like, no, right. I'm going to get this shit fucking work. I think that's mm -hmm. an attitude. If you don't take that with women, it will fucking destroy you and it will never work. What do you think about that? Sorry, you cut off. Say it again. So if you go into an attitude of just not success dating with women, but like anywhere, if you go in thinking you're going to fail or you can't get that or you don't deserve that, that's going to fuck you up no matter what you try to do. Do you understand? You agree with that or not? Oh, yeah, definitely. That's what I see. Most of, most of the, the, the time, a lot of dudes, the reason why they're not, you know, getting where they want to go is really because of 
the way they think. You see what I'm saying? Because your thoughts become your actions. So if you keep thinking, well, you know, I can't make this happen. This is never going to work. This is, you know, I can't do this. I can't do that. That's going to be the outcome. If you think you can, you're going to actually do things to make it happen. So even if you're fucking up or things aren't going the way you want it to go at first, because you have the mindset that you think it can happen, you're going to keep doing it. You see what I mean? So you're, you're going to always find ways to succeed if success is what you actually want to happen. If you have a desire to make it happen, you'll find a way. You see what I mean? And so that's what, what guys don't understand is that the reason why they don't get anywhere a lot of times because the, the, their desire to make it happen isn't strong. You understand? Like they sort of kind of want it, but they don't really want it. Mm -hmm. But if you really want it, your mind's going to develop ways for you to get that thing, no matter how hard or difficult you think it is. You see what I mean? And so that's the thing you guys are going to say. I want to take it even a step further. I think some guys actually want even the worst, the opposite. I think they actually, mm -hmm. deep down inside, want failure only because mm -hmm. they've had it so many times that they're like, oh, I know, I know how to get failure. Then they want to fail in like a spectacular way, maybe. Right. Like, then they want to say, I've tried everything and I still mm -hmm. fail. See, I told you I was right. That's right, not really right. helpful, but that's what exactly. I see a lot of people doing. And then they mm -hmm. make the excuse and it's valid for them now. Now, oh, I have a, I was made a video called mental illness earlier. People want to say I have a mental illness or they want to say I have a disease or they want to say I have a shyness or they want to say I have a poverty problem or scarcity problem. It, that's cool. That justifies your lack, but it doesn't right. help you get the thing that you think that you want. So what is the fucking point of continuing that on? That's all I'm saying, man. It's stupid. Right. It's dumb. Right. You might as well say, fuck it. I'm going to do this. I don't know how, but I'm going to do it. But go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no, no. I agree with you. And that's the thing, you know, uh, some people like to, they, they identify with failure. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. that becomes their identity. So it's kind of like they want, it, it, the thing is this, some people, they they don't want to put in the work it takes to be successful so what they want to right. do is they'll say well you know it's not going to work for me or it doesn't work so they're looking for ways to prove that it doesn't work so that they they actually don't have to you know try to succeed because they want the failure to be the truth they want it to be true that there's no way to succeed so that they have a rationalization for their failure. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, you see them in these little groups like bashing, everybody joins their little failure groups and they're like, we all suck together. Right, and That's right. that failure mentality group. You don't exactly. want to be around those guys. One thing I don't like about pickup that people outside might not know what we're talking about if they're watching mm -hmm. from my, my side, but mm -hmm. in pickup is a lot of losers in there. I'm just trying to be honest. There's a lot of fucking losers mm -hmm. and these losers mm -hmm. will bring you down because they want you to fail too and join their little we can't get girls. We can't get anything. We can't get money. This is sick and sad, and I don't want to be a part of that. Let me, let me kind of ask you a question. I didn't mean to take you off your, your thread, but mm. do you think that some guys just ain't cut out for this? Is there a type of guy that just fucking just needs to give up on life? Is that true? Mm. Or is there everybody can be helped? In your opinion. No, I don't. See, I don't, this is the thing. I don't think that – I basically think that everybody can't – like, if you, if, you, if you have the ability to, you know, get up, walk around, talk – you know, stuff like that. Like, you, right. you have the ability right. to make it happen. Like, you know, if, if it's a rare case where you're just, you know, sick, you're, you're in your bed, you can't move, whatever, that's one thing. But if you have the ability to, you know, to, to do certain things, to walk around, to move just like everybody else, and you, you, you have the ability to speak and to learn and to whatever, you can make, make it happen. So, again, a lot of it is just really a choice and how bad you want it and how, uh, how much you want to actually make it. Because the thing is, you know, especially with guys learning, like, game and pickup and all this other stuff, a lot of the reasons why um, they're not really successful at where they want to go is because they're, they're, too, they're too caught up in their ego. So the ego, a lot of times, stops you from actually making certain moves because you're like, well, I don't want this girl to reject me. I don't want this to happen. I don't want that to happen because I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm a failure. I don't want to feel like I don't know how to do it. And then so what happens is that stops people from actually taking action. But once you get out of your ego, once you say, well, you know what, listen, I actually want to make something happen. And I'm, you know, I'm going to figure out stuff. If I make mistakes, I'm going to correct it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Then you'll actually, you know, be successful. So the losers are really just the guys who, who, who made a decision to be losers. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's a, that's a choice. You're deciding yeah. to lose. Hot. You see what I mean? So that's what it is. Right. You know what right. I mean? Well, you know, I want to take it a little bit uh, different. I agree with that. Uh, but I also, one way that I see it a little differently is this. I almost don't want the guys doing anything or taking any action at first, personally. Or like I'd say people, like if it was my son or my brother or my cousin, I'm not thinking of like a client, I'm thinking of like a fucking family member. I wouldn't want them doing anything actually, like I didn't make all the mistakes I did, without finding the inner love of self or inner confidence first. I think that's better because 
Well, if you go out with the loser mentality and you're a your failure or you're weird or cringy or strange mm -hmm. or just stupid, maybe you're dumb or make dumb decisions, you're going to cause a lot of unnecessary pain. But, I mean, some guys have got to do it. I get it. But if you can work on that inner game stuff and you can mm -hmm. find out who you are and really connect with that, you're going to attract better types of women. In the beginning, you're going to just kind of get, like, really, really, really bad shit. Bad chicks, mm -hmm. psycho chicks, loser chicks. You're going to get a lot of negative shit. And then you're going to get in the wrong situations because you're not mentally there. You don't have the confidence to walk around in the world yet. So it's almost like a little dangerous for those guys, in my opinion. They're not. They're too timid. They're too weak. They're too meek for that shit, in my opinion. Uh, but they, once they beef that up, it's like most dudes walk around without a sense of self, without a sense of confidence, without a sense of true identity. This is the big one. Right. You can get that true identity. I don't know who can touch you. Like maybe Jay Z, right. maybe fucking Eminem could beat you. I don't know. <laughs> you know, at some right. level. Who are you competing against? That's, I mean, I know that's way up, but mm -hmm. guys need to learn that. Why are people learning to be more unique? Why are we all taught to be this humdrum like everybody else? I, that's never mm -hmm. going to be the thing. If you're like every other dude, a girl has a thousand options. She's, I have a girl ex-girlfriend who had a thousand fucking inboxes in Tinder, thousand matches. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's dick number 922 for you. If you're not super fucking awesome, I can't say she should pick you. I don't know. I don't have a right. point with that. I'm just kind of going off there, but. You know, you seem like a guy. The reason why I decided to do the call with you, I've talked to a lot of guys in pickup. I think a lot of them are full of shit and don't even fucking know anything. I feel like you have some fucking swag or something. I can just, I think you've got a lot going on, and I think you you had your experiences, and you can talk to guys about that. How when you go through enough shit with women, it just you learn on deeper dimensions. You have to get in relationships, and a lot of them mm -hmm. you start to understand patterns. A lot of guys think that women speak this whole other language. Well, there are actually a lot more commonalities with them than not, than not. I've seen. So maybe you can speak on to that. Having mm -hmm. those experiences right. how it makes you more confident, how you can handle more pressure. If you can't handle pressure, don't play this game. I'm going to say this really quickly. Uh, I know a lot of guys can benefit from what you're talking about. A lot of girls are going to think this stuff is weird or whatever. What do you say to the women? I think more women out there need some of this stuff too. Mm -hmm. Too many girls are like not getting what they want because they don't even understand the game that well, right. in my opinion. Right. Yeah, well, that's the thing, you know, I, because I coach women also, and, you know, um, women – also need to learn game and learn, learn how to be attractive to men. Because, see, women do get – it's easy for women to get sex. It's not easy for women to keep them interested. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what I, I, I try to teach women, how to keep yeah. the guys that want interested. You know what I'm saying? And so a lot of women don't – you know, they don't yeah. know certain things or they don't know, like, how guys respond and react or how we feel about certain things. So they also need to learn how to, you know, make it happen. Because guys think they, – they think that women don't – need to learn anything they're like oh women have it lucky because they can make this happen and it's like well women can get sex but that's about it at the end of the day you know what i'm saying so that's that's really what it is you know what I, mean? I would say it's better to be a guy that has advanced game than to be a girl that has sex options because once you get to that level you can you start to become very uh very a diamond in the rough kind of guy that's what right. i want to aim for all the time right. how do you become a diamond in the rough how do you separate yourself from the pack? That's the goal. Mm -hmm. And once you do that, you have more options than the woman does at that point. Because mm -hmm. women right. can't find guys like that. Real they can't. Shit. That's They're real very talk. hard. That's real talk. No, I'm saying yeah. that's, that's real talk. Because see, a, a, a guy who a guy who knows what he's doing, right? He is able to you know get as many women as possible for sex and also a relationship. You know what I mean? If he wants that for women. Women can get sex yeah. easily, but on the flip side, they can't get you know sometimes sex from the guys they want, but also um, a relationship from the guys they want. So, so if you're the type of dude who knows how to make it happen, you're like at the top of the, the situation. You know what I mean? So that's what it is. I remember Fifty Cent said this I saw an interview with Fifty. Fifty was like, "I get so much pussy thrown at me, you could not even fathom it. I have to turn down more than I ever accept, and it's actually a fucking headache." 50 Cent said that, you know, oh, yeah. he's famous and stuff yeah. like that. That's interesting. But that's that's true for some of these guys in that world, in that fame. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Real talk. Real talk. And, and even and even if you don't get to that famous hey, level, so, um, you know, they, they you, you could you could get when you get to a certain level of game, when you're actually getting a lot of women, um, you're going to actually have to turn down women, too, at some um, some points, meaning that you might have so many girls hollering at you. And since you're so busy, you're going to have to be like, well, you know what I'm saying? I can't see you today or I got to, you know, that's going to happen. So, you know. Yeah. You know, that's funny you say it like that. I remember there was a time in my life where if I had any girl at all even texting me, I would have never deleted the number. I would have never got rid of her. I would have never let her go. It was not even a thought. Right. I was like, she would end up leaving me. Right. This is how it happened to me all the time. Now, 
it's sort of like, I think I need to cut this relationship off early because I already know I'm going to X level and she's going to stay there. Mm -hmm. So I know that now. And I actually find it being a little harsh sometimes, but I, I never thought I'd be a kind of guy that would actually leave relationships or break up. I never thought I'd be the one doing it. Mm -hmm. That's a big shift. That happened. Oh, yeah. But in the beginning, it was always she, the ball was always in her court when I was a young teenager and stuff. Now life is different for me. I, I, I really am the one that calls the shots. I really am the one that mm -hmm. they they look up to or they ask what's what's next. It's up to me. I, I, I don't know if I if I'm gonna say something fair to women. I don't want to be like the asshole sexist or something. I don't always want to be in that role. I know that sounds mm -hmm. fucked up. Right. Sometimes I kind of wish the girl would just take over too. I get mm -hmm. tired of always having to do it all. Right. But that's just really the way I've learned that it goes if you want to stay in. I'd rather have control more than not, though. I'm afraid to let her run the thing because I've had that. And that is too scary for me to risk that anymore. I just can't do it. Can't right. Well, either, either way, you're not. Don't you're trust them enough thing. for you that yet. You can't. You're not supposed to have the, the, the chick running the thing anyway. You know what I'm saying? That's what guys don't understand at the end of the day is that in, 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 in throughout all the interactions, it's you are supposed to be the one who's who's controlling the dynamic. And when we say controlling, it's not necessarily. Why like, is that? I, I've seen mm -hmm. you post that. Why? Why is that? Let's go into why that you think that is. Right. What is well, the case behind that? Right. Well, the thing is, the thing is, is that see, for 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 a man, um, as you when you're a man, you're supposed to be the one in the dominant position because women generally it's it's, it's yin and yang. So a woman is going to be submissive, and you're going to be dominant you understand what i'm saying it's, it's going to be that that dynamic either way you understand what i'm saying and so sometimes what happens is you may have a dominant woman who will be with a submissive man you see what i'm saying so the dominant and submissive is always going to be there no matter what but you, but usually it's the man who's the more dominant the woman who's more submissive yeah. we're just we're just physical manifestations of dominate dominant dominant uh you know beings and submissive beings right now there's certain situations right where as a man you may be you may submit to your woman in this in the act of service to her which is you know and, and, and vice versa she may dominate in certain situations that is going to be beneficial for you as the man dealing with her but the thing is, the reason why I say you have to control and lead the situation is because we are, the way that our makeup is, the way that we think, the way that we, uh, you know, do things, we do things on a more, on a more logical and practical manner, uh, just based off of how we think. So, for example, women, they'll get really emotional, and we'll get emotional too. The thing is, the difference is that we may also, we'll make, we'll make moves even based even if we're emotional we're not going to make moves off the emotion if you're like a real dude you're not going to make moves based off the emotion women will make moves based off the emotion so as a man you have to say even though i feel this way i gotta go th this other way because this other way is best for the situation women will say i feel this way and i'm going to do what i feel even if it's not best for the situation so just based off of how we're we're you know programmed and how we are as a man, you have to make sure you're doing that, you're leading, and, and the girl's following. Because if you're following the woman, you're going to follow someone who may be leading you in a direction where she's just going based off of that emotion, which is not good. You see what I'm saying? And so as a man, you have to make sure that you Well, I agree with you on one part of it. Hold on, let, me, let, me look, let me look at it in a different way. I agree with you on the part that I think the man should lead, but not for the same reasons you do. Mm. I don't think that logic is the ultimate answer. I think emotions are very important for men. Mm. Um, and I'm an emotional guy. You could call me out there. Right. I'm highly, I'm probably more emotional than my girl, mm. but I'm very passionate when I speak and I, mm. I get angry, I get sad, right. I get all these emotions. But I do think the man should lead, but not, not necessarily in the way that you do. Mm. I just think that there is a, how do I put it? There is something to be said about being a leader and being the tribal mm -hmm. leader and being the king and all that. Right. And you said an interesting post here about the king being a sort of, I, I do see the service side to it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think women, I think women are like, like when I come home and I've had like a terrible day or like some dude, like I, whatever happened, I got in a fight or not like I got in a fight, but it's happened before. Mm -hmm. Or I've gotten some shit or something's bad or something's happened. This, my girl will like make me feel better. She'll make me feel mm -hmm. stronger again. And I like that. Makes you feel like, yeah. But then whenever shit goes down, and I'm like, no, we're going to fucking do this or get the fuck out of my way or there's some dude in the way I have to fuck him up. I'm not saying I try to, I'm saying violent things, but sometimes violence happens in life. And I understand the man having to do that because I've had to do that. And the woman is just like, fucking love that. And they all say they don't, I know. And you're gonna, we're going to offend a lot of sexist women or feminist women, but deep down inside, they do want the protector. I know this. I can protect myself. Okay, go protect yourself from a six foot four fucking guy with a gun. Okay, good luck. That's not going to happen. But 
there, there is a place for the heart, and the woman is like the backbone sometimes, while you're the mm. fucking shield. I don't know how to express it any better than that. Mm. There is a place for king and queen, and I don't want people to think that one is better than the other. This mm. is the problem I have with this argument. Man mm. is not better than woman, and woman is not better than man. Mm. We serve different roles. This is the mm. point that I'm right. Making. Exactly. Yeah. That's I don't what, know if you see it that or see it differently. Right. That's what, and that's what it is. That's right. What, that's what. That's what. It I'm just trying works. to clear it up for everybody who thinks that we're trying to put people down. Oh, we're yeah, not yeah, putting the, people yeah, down. Thing, we're not putting thing. women down either. Right. That's the thing that tricks people is that they think, that's why I said it's yin and yang, because yin and yang is basically balance. You see what I'm saying? So the, when, when we say that the man has to take control of the situation, we're not saying that he's taking control because he's better. He's taking control because he's different. You understand? It, there's a difference between the man and the woman. Right. Though there's different a, there's is the keyword. Right. right. So even though there's a similarity between the man and the woman, there's a difference. Same thing where, like, if I always use the example of a, of, of a like, a, let's say a quarter. Uh, the quarter has a heads and tails. The head is, in, in, the head and the tail right. are different sides of the coin, but it's the same coin. So we're, we're two sides of the same coin, but we're different sides. So the thing is, is that I like that. that balance. So the, the head part of the quarter is not better than the tails part of the quarter or the tails part of the quarter is not right. better than the heads part. Both are needed for it to be a quarter. So the thing is, right. is that Right, we should be a team. Not one should be, like, exactly. putting down the other. Exactly. Like, for example, exactly. on a football team, you're not going to say, fuck the quarterback or fuck the receiver. We don't exactly. need this. No, you need every piece to that team. Slash exactly. coach, slash cheerleaders, whatever you fucking need. You exactly. need the whole unit. And exactly. that's what a family essentially is and a wife and a husband are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And I see the only problem I have with anything on the Internet is a lot of men get shit for being chauvinist, and it's okay to bash dudes. But a lot of women don't get shit for being feminist. It should be right. equal attack on both of them. Right. They're, they're not better or worse. It's just we're different. And I wish that a lot of girls, my girl understands that, but a lot of girls don't. Mm. And a lot of guys understand that. A lot of guys don't. Right. I don't understand why they think we need to all be the fucking same. Sameness is fucking boring. Mm. I don't watch the same fucking episode of Seinfeld. I don't even watch Seinfeld. I don't know why right. I said that. I don't watch the same episode of Seinfeld every mm. day. Mm -hmm. We watch a different Kramer come right. in every day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, the thing is, why do we want sameness? The thing is, yeah. the thing is that what, what it is that we're, we're, we're <laughs> the same. We're the same and not the same simultaneously. That's what people got to understand is that. Yeah. So, for example, men and women, we're the same because we're, we're both human beings, but we're different because there has to be difference in order for there to be understanding or balance with anything. So the thing is, you, you can't understand yourself as a man without a woman, and a woman can't understand, understand herself as a woman without a man. So everything in life, if you look at everything, there's always going to be that balance. Like, I always talk about this, you know, the, you, you don't understand up without down, you don't understand down without up. The reason why you understand hot is because you understand cold. So everything is, is that balance there. So the thing is, is that understanding the balance will, will, will show you that it is, there's no thing that's better or worse or more important or, or this or that. Yeah. Everything is needed. So, but everything serves a purpose. And that's the point is that a, a purpose when it comes to him dealing with women in, in, that, in these scenarios is that he sh should be leading and he should be, you know, guiding and, and, and putting those, you know, situations uh, that's going on or those yeah. situations happening in motion. So that the, the whole situation between him and his woman will work. And then the woman should, you know, she, she has a more nurturing, just like you said, she has that heart. She has that, uh, you know, that, that where she gives that sort of like energy. So that's where she comes into play. You see what I'm saying? And it's just naturally that way. Here's where I agree with you, but I see it in a different perspective. Mm. I see that you're seeing that on a logical level. What you're saying to me, I don't really listen to that as much. Mm. I feel what you're saying is right. right. So I'm using emotion, even though you think it's more logical for the men, but that's not true for me. Mm. I feel that's right for me, the leading part, what you said. Mm. So I'm using the feeling. I'm using the intuition instead of the logic. Mm. For me, intuition trumps logic. Mm. That's just me. A lot mm. of guys are very logical and practical. I used to be that way. I'm a computer guy. I'm very technical. Mm. I can go to that side. Right. But I prefer to listen to my intuition. Mm. I don't know if that's new agey or whatever mm. but that's for me it, it, it leads me in the right way mm. like for example a long time ago i wanted to travel the country right and i didn't know how to do it or how i was going to do it i just broke as fuck i just said i'm going to go to fucking la to new york backpacking with the guitar i just said i'm going to do it and then mm. i did it and everything fucking lined up for me in such a magical way i couldn't even explain it to you rides fucking bus i jumped on this this and this person let me stay with him this and this and happened i got to new york this is all mm. i was like 20 something and this just happened because i had a nudge to do it now that's mm. leading into the spiritual stuff, and I kind of—I don't want to go too far on there because I know that's not your content. Oh no, go in, go in, because I—I I I don't want people to just get in the going. dating game. Oh, cool! I, a lot of people are getting into the dating game primarily, which is, I think, a great place to start. I don't know where I am sometimes because I've done this for so long, 
in the beginning, I left. I hit. I was in Texas. I lived in a shitty. Well, not shitty. I lived in a house, and I was bored, and I had a job, and it was like a normal, boring life. Mm -hmm. And I got tired of it. And one day, I just packed up my car and drove to California with like no money, almost literally barely mm -hmm. enough gas to get there. Not right. because I knew what I was doing, but something in inner was saying you need to go do this. And I didn't know what mm -hmm. this meant. So I left and I just learned all kinds of shit. I tried to be an actor, a musician. I know I saw that you had that on your page too. So we have similar, pers we all want something bigger. I understand that with you and with me and mm. with people like me and you. Uh, so I go pursuing this and it's different. And then I got into this pickup stuff and I found this whole thing like, oh, I'm not the only guy who's kind of unconfident or bad with chicks. That was interesting. But then I got lost in that. I caught up with the mm. sex and the drinking and the going out and like, right. being up. I was honestly in the beginning, I was a nice guy. And I turned into a total asshole. I was really fucking mean to girls. I was mm. disrespectful. Leave them. Never call them. I was like that. Dude, I, I thought that was cool because mm. I came from nothing. Then I'm like, I hate myself. So I went to a whole nother level. Then I found out no matter how much I got laid, no matter how many cities I went to, no matter how many mm. fucking pads I lived in, whatever happened, I was not happy again. And I was drinking more and stuff. So then I'm like, what the fuck is next? I'm not Christian. I'm not going back to religion. Fuck that. There's a spiritual aspect to this. And you can find a woman or whatever on your road that helps you lift up your spiritual connection. Now, what that full spiritual connection is, I don't know. Mm. I don't fully understand it. It's always expanding. And I'm getting to the point where I realize your work is never going to be done on this earth. Mm. We're always going to meet new people. They're always going to expand our mind. That's why there's always new content, new ideas, new knowledge, new people. Diversity is never going to go away. Mm. So that's probably why guys are attracted to the dating game or success at all. Because with more money, with more girls, you just get more vaster experiences. I understand that desire. Mm. But you still got to find the happiness within. And if you don't, mm. you're going to, like a lot of these celebrities kill themselves. A lot of these celebrities get all the girls, all the money, all the fame, all the glory. Mm. And then they end up committing suicide. I know that's extreme. Mm. But that's happened to some of the greatest minds of our time. Oh, yeah. Some of the greatest artists of our time. Mm. So that scares me. And I don't want to go there. So I want to find the fulfillment while going for the external. Inner and outer game. Mm. And it's very difficult to balance the two. Right. You don't want to become, become a monk. You don't want to become a fucking drunk party boy. Yeah, everything, right? is about, everything is about balance. And you were talking about the, that that you would go on your intuition at certain points, right? And so what people got to understand right. is that the, 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 cause we're talking about like the men will be more logical, the women will be more emotional, right? That's the, that's, that's the balance of it. So when a guy is going off his intuition, he's still going off, he's basically still going off that balance within him because within us, we have masculine and feminine. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that yeah. that intuition you feel what I'm saying is is the more feminine and the the logical is the more masculine within your own self. You see what I mean? But both are needed. I like reg regardless. You see what I'm saying? So, but and so the thing is, is that boy, you smart as hell, you know man. You saying? smart it's like me. I love like, it. So it, it always comes back to that That's what I'm saying. It always comes back to it. So the thing is, is that whenever, because for yeah. example, women women will do certain things that are logical also and that's them that's their the the more of that because see when, right. people, when people think of the masculine and the feminine it's really it's really energy we're first talking about like men and women like us men and yeah. women we're just physical manifestations of masculine and feminine energy this is why you can have a woman who has more masculine energy and a man who has more feminine mm -hmm. energy you see what i'm saying so the the right. energy isn't necessarily uh directed to man or woman it's just generally that men have the more masculine and, and women have the more feminine. You see what I'm saying? And so that's where the balance comes right. in. So this is why we say the man should be leading and the woman should be following. And, and, what, and what happens is, is too, is that it, since it's a balance and it's always a back and forth, men and women are both doing things simultaneously. So when we say a man is leading, there's times where a woman is leading with her femininity in certain situations. And then we say a woman needs to be submissive there is also times where a man is submissive in his leadership. You see what I'm saying? So it's always- I think people look at the word submissive as a negative word. I don't want to stop you there because a lot of guys, and we call a woman submissive. Are you trying to put right, me right. in the kitchen? Right. Like, no, I, I, I do the dishes around. Man, I don't give a, it's not, submissive has nothing to do with doing chores. Mm -hmm. It has nothing right, to do with right. that shit. Submission is a decision to submit to someone you respect. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Not slavery, not fucking uh, abuse. That's not right. what I'm talking about. Right. Then dominance yeah. is like, it's, dominance is not negative either. Mm. We have too much ideas of this fucking, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey fem right, dom right. shit. That's not what we're talking about here. Right. And you know, this is not what we're talking right. about. That's some other shit. It's, I don't know. know that's that's fun too. Is. Do that if you want. You know what it is too <laughs> is that what people don't understand is that, see, that's the problem with words also is because our, our words, when we think of the word, 
it's limited to yeah, what yeah. you know is around the connotation of it. So we, of course, we need words to point to certain ideas, or whatever. But a lot of times when we talk about submission, people look at it, look at it as negative because they're looking at submission as well. You're 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 saying I'm lower than you, or I'm going to be you know I'm I'm like uh, your slave, or I'm just going to you know I just I don't have any say. I'm whatever. But what they don't understand is that yeah, yeah. submission submission is part of the the whole situation that makes everything work like nothing can work without submission you see what i mean so the thing is is that and, and nothing can work hell america couldn't work without submission if we just rebelled against the government that's not submission that's war right right we right. submit to a certain level of rule exactly to be right. honest exactly. you know so so things so th there has to be submission and there also has to be there has to be uh dominance and so people look at dominance and submission as negative words. So they're like, oh, well, you're dominating me. Or, or well, why do I got to be submissive? It's, it's all <laughs> right. necessary for the whole thing to work. You see what I mean? So the thing is, is that, it, you know, uh, like, for example, if you have a, a wife with, uh, you know, a husband and wife. With I have a word for it. Voluntary submission mm -hmm. and just there's like cult leader submission. These are two different right, worlds. Right, exactly. I choose to follow this man because I respect I trust, I honor, I love him. I know he's going to protect me. Right. That's a voluntary right. submission. Mm -hmm. An involuntary submission is he'll beat me and he'll stalk me. He'll break exactly down my door. Right. That's a whole different thing. Right, there. right. And, and, and that's what, <laughs> or she'll stalk me. And then some girls are crazy like that. They'll come over and never let you leave and I'm keying your car. There's a different, there's this energy too mm -hmm. for women as well. Right. And that's we don't thing. want that. Nobody wants that. Right. And that's the thing is that, you know, with the whole, with the whole dominant submission or leadership following and everything, that's all, that's all, uh, 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 you know, that's based in the yin and the yang. But what happens is that our egos make us think that there's, there's something better or worse well, that ego. within the situation. <laughs> so, so for example, if I say, if I say that, well, you know, a woman should follow a man, then the, you know, people are going to be like, oh, but why, why, why should she have to follow him? Why can't he follow her and all this? And I'm like, yeah, there are times where, where he's going to follow her, but we're arguing based off of your ego because your ego is telling you that, it's better to be a leader than a follower, but it's not better to be a leader than a follower because who who is a person going to lead if there's no one to follow them? You see what I'm saying? I can't be a leader. If well, I'll tell you. Let me kind of let me kind of play devil's advocate for you for a second. I honestly would follow a woman if I thought she was better leader than me, for example. And now I would ask the woman to follow me if I think I know how to do something better. For example, I used to drive a tow truck. I knew how to do it really well. Mm. I hated the job, but I knew how to do it. Mm. I wouldn't have her try to do that for me, mm. but I did meet a female tow truck driver. Mm. And if she could do the tow truck driver better than me, I would let her train me, of course. Right. I would let a woman lead me if I believed she was literally better at it. And that doesn't go for a woman. That's woman or man. Mm. If you're better at something than me, if you're a better musician or singer than me, I'm going to let you teach me how to sing better, mm. for example. I'm just saying. Right. Well, I look right, at who is who can I learn from. Right. I don't really see it as a female or male so much. Right. And, and see, and I'm see, just saying it like see, that. What do you that, think about and, that? Exactly. And see, that makes sense because if if I'm in a situation where I'm with a a, a, a woman, like let's say there's a female, a woman doctor, and I'm in a restaurant and someone's choking yeah. and she needs me, she's like someone's choking. She's trying to help that person. She tells me, "Hey, I need you to do this and this and this." I'm gonna follow her lead to save that person's life because she, since she's a doctor, right, she's right. more equipped to lead in that situation. You see what I mean? And so what, what people don't understand is that for, when it comes to masculine and feminine energy, masculine energy is more equipped to lead in the situation, which and, it is, and then masculine energy is represented by men generally. You see what I mean? And so this is what we talk about. But, but again, when people look at it through ego. Why do you think there's so much divide between this? Why is this even like, I know we're on this thread and a lot of people are talking about why is it so hard to just decide where we are? Can no one make up their mind? Are we all confused? Mm. What's going on here? Is there a right and wrong way like that? I mean, I don't understand why everybody just can't say, oh, we're different. Right. Uh, and not bad. I don't know why well, we all well, have well, to take each thing. other's role. I don't want to be a chick, and a chick doesn't want to well, be me. I'm pretty again, sure. That's, that, <laughs> Unless she does. Again, that's, it's, it's, all, it's all ego. Because, for, for, okay, for, so for example, though, so the thing is for people who don't understand what ego is, ego is basically – the false sense of, of who you are. It's a false sense of self. So when, you, when you're born and someone says your name is, you know, John Smith and you live at this place and you're this type of person, that's your ego. That's, you, you've created an identity. Right. And so what happens is that we all- Well, you could even say that, that being man or woman is a part of ego though. You could say that right. choosing a sex is also ego-based. You could say that, but people do mm -hmm. say that. As far as saying that, cho that choosing a sex is, is part of the ego. Well, well, this is the thing. If you want to say, if you want to say yeah. gender, being like gender anybody, roles, being anything, right, right, that's mm -hmm. the thing. 
you can say gender roles is part of the ego, but the actual sex, like the actual you being, you know, like having a penis or vagina, like that's just is what it is. You Physically what a male. Oh, okay. Right. right. I follow. You know I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I follow that. Right. Right. But but when it when it comes to a person saying, well, why you know why why can't a, a man and why can a woman do what a man do what a man do what a woman do? It's like it can't happen because. There needs to be. There needs to. Unless be, you're Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner has it right, all figured out. Right. Bruce Jenner has done it all. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so the thing is, is what, what, uh, people, what people don't understand is, is like, you know, there needs to be that difference or that that balance there. But the ego is telling people, hey, well, we're all the, we're all the same 100. percent But it's impossible for us to be all the same 100. percent because if things are all the same 100, percent it, it, it just it's it, it, it can't be. Like for example. If if I'm if I'm like for example I'm standing here I'm sitting right here right next to me but next to my head is space and then I'm a, like a solid this is solid this is space you yeah. know what I'm saying like there has to be that balance everything can't be solid and everything just can't be space do you need space to understand solid and right. you know what I mean so the the the, 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 yeah. the space that's next to me right here is not better than this you understand. Both are needed. It's different. It's it's happen. a different type type of whatever material exactly. thing, non thing, whatever. You th you know right. I was thinking about the ego. You keep you talking about the ego. I maybe made maybe think. I think the ego gets a bad rap. I actually think there's too much negativity on having an ego. I think it's okay if you got one. It's okay if you right. don't too. Right. A lot of celebrities right. talk right. about getting rid of their ego, but they had to become the massive ego first to drop right. it. So right. maybe celebrities are not necessarily. Maybe ego gets a bad rap. Maybe it's okay to have one for now if you do. Mm -hmm. It's not beating it up, or maybe you're a certain type of way, or whatever. I was right. so against having an ego for so long, but I'm kind of like, whatever, I got one. What do you want me to do right. about it? Well, the mm. thing is, your ego is always going to be reinforced anyway. Anytime anyone calls you by your name, they're reinforcing your ego anyway. So it's not a, it's not a bad thing to have to have. Right. That's why I gave myself the name Josh Next. I didn't want my birth name. I wanted right. to give myself a custom name, Jay Next. Yeah. Right. And so and so the thing is, my name. I made it. Right. Yeah. But and see, it's still and see that's still an ego. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's still part of it. But, right. But, it's a different but, ego. Right. It's my ego. Hey, get out of my head, right. man. <laughs> so, the, thing is, the thing is, as long as you understand that it's your ego, then that's like if you're aware of it, yeah. that's one thing. When you when you believe that you are your ego, that's when you're in trouble. You see what I'm saying? Because what happens is that when I you heard of a concept a long time ago called the observing ego. Right. I think that's what you and I are practicing, right? Even now. Mm -hmm. We're observing our own crazy human being a human is let's get funny with it right. being a human is fucking weird mm -hmm. it's fucking weird dude. Mm -hmm. you got a brain with like blood stuff in it right. you got like eyeballs that blink and close and shit and see shit being a human is fucking weird right. you really think about being inside of a skin bone flesh bag thing that lives in a spinning floating ball in space right. it's fucking weird right. we have to find a way to feel safe and like control this shit mm -hmm. like what are we doing here right what is this place and, and, and no one really why are we having this? sex <laughs> why are we fighting wars exactly. it's all crazy man exactly <laughs> exactly and, and the thing is is that you know i think a lot of times like the reason why we have so many people who are you know upset all the time suffering doing all this other stuff just just within themselves is because they're 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 being so they're identifying too much with their ego and so because i even you know even when you because yeah. this is the thing, this is the thing how funny. can they get away from that everybody says we're identifying right? i hear that message a lot i'm sorry to cut you i kind of want to get to the next thing how do they get away from disidentifying mm -hmm. i do meditation it helps me what do right. you recommend right well the thing is i, I just think it's more about awareness like I think it's it's being Awareness literally aware that that what the ego is. You understand? Because when you have the awareness, then you can you can you can separate yourself from it. So for so I use, always use this as an example. If like if for let's say for Halloween, I, I used it before where if you dress up as Batman for Halloween, right? That's a representation of the ego. Like Batman is your ego for for that night, right? Now if Halloween is over, yeah, right. and, you're, and you're wearing a Batman costume every day, right? And you think you're actually Batman. Halloween is never over. I'm always wearing a Batman right. costume. <laughs> exactly. So, so the thing is, if you think you're Batman that day, people are looking at you like, yo, what, what's, what's wrong with you? you? You're crazy. You understand? And so, but, but that's yeah, exactly right. what we're doing every day. That's exactly what we're doing every day. We're mm. wearing the mask of who we think Putting we're on Batman. the mask. You mm. see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. under, just yeah, yeah, yeah. the mask. So have fun with the mask, but understand it's a mask. But because when you take it nice. too seriously, when you actually think you are who you think you are when it comes to your mask, then that's when you're in trouble. Because now, if, if you know, if your name is Rebecca Johnson from Jersey, if you think that 
everything that entails whatever that is. Let's say you're a nurse and you know you're you're you know you like cupcakes or whatever the hell you do. All of that stuff, if you think that's you, if I say that to hey, Rebecca Johnson or whatever, you're a terrible nurse, you're gonna get upset because you're you're attached to that identity of who you are. You think that if, if you're not a good nurse or if you're not a nurse at all, that you're nothing. And this is why we were talking about earlier, you said that celebrities will, you know, kill themselves and people will do all this other stuff. It's because Yeah. Man, shit on my on my phone anyway. So what happens is that when you when you're when you're so caught up in that, you end up suffering, being depressed, getting all upset because somebody has attacked your ego.